Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to send a report to a customer via an email. So within ShareWell there is a default process to send a report to customers via scheduled jobs and reports are available on command through one steps. However, it's not very clear how to combine these two needs by emailing a report to a customer via a one step. So we can demonstrate this in the blue client by opening up our one step manager and creating a new one step. Our first step will be running a report. So I will add that action to our one step. For our purposes, we'll just grab a generic report, my team's incidents. We'll then select write to file. Instead of clicking browse, I will click in the text box and click the drop down arrow. This gives us access to system functions, including file names. We'll then select new file name and give it a name. In our case, we don't need the file after running the report, so we'll delete it when the one step is complete. And by default, the file is saved in a TMP format, which is not terribly useful. So we're going to give a custom extension. So we're going to give a custom extension. I'm going to want this to be an Excel file, so I will add the extension XLS. Next, I will create the email by adding an e <coughs> Next, I will create the actual email by adding Next, I will create the email by adding that action to my one step. To add the file name, click the paperclip, navigate to file name, and we can see that our file is already present and may be attached. Lastly, for our demonstration purposes, I'm going to click let user edit email before sending. And then we'll click OK and run. Running the one step, I can see that the attachment was successfully added, and I can access it by clicking on the file to verify that the attachment contains data in the correct format. And that is how to email a report via a one step within ShareWell. Hopefully, your organization will find this useful, and we will see you next time.